when she gave us your name for the record and how long you've been working with Giles Wani? Hey, my name is Sakele Flaji. I've been working for JL Zone Center for three years now and I'm also a full member of, the, of JL Zone Memorial Church. Okay, um, what is your function here at JL Zone Center and in the church? Administrator of the program, so the center is rendering to the community of Kukudetu. At church, I'm part of the leadership. For our church, I'm also the elder of the church as well. Okay, so in terms of the function that you have here as administrator, what does a day look like in your day? In other words, what do you do? Okay, I'm also the PA to the reverend <laughs> at the very same time. So um, I coordinate. Um, all the programs that we are currently running. I'll make sure that wherever there are issues that come up, um, they are dealt with. I'll make sure that the programs are running smoothly. I'll make sure that on a month-to-month basis, um, there are reports that are submitted to the director of the center, which is the government. Um, I mainly coordinate all the programs, as I said making sure that there is more smooth operation of all the programs on a daily basis. Okay, and then your function in the church as a leader or an elder? My function at the, uh, uh, the church, um, I'm a leader. I have, um, I'm part of the leadership of Zone 5, uh, which is one of the, of the groupings that we have here at the church. Um, I make sure that the programs that um, we have um, are implemented, the decision that the church um, has agreed upon that they are implemented on a ground level. Okay. For example, we have now um, embarking on a program of evangelism and we are using the concept of, of Alpha as part of evangelism to the community of Kukuleto and within the church. So I'm part of that program also. So um, my function and my responsibility is that is to make sure that the, the, the word of God is spread out there, not only to my zone, which is I'm part of, but also to, to, to the entire community of Kukuleto within the confines. Um, of my zone at this point in time okay. as a starting point, but also it's, it's allowing us with the program, the Alpha course is, is giving us, is giving every person that is in the church to not only confine themselves within the zones, okay. Are, okay. but to go out there to spread the word of God. Okay, so it's, with, with, it's outside of the zones and for those people who don't necessarily belong to the church. Yes. Okay. Um, so in terms of the evangelism that you're doing, it's about spreading the word, as you say, within your zone to members of the community that are not part of the Presbyterian Church as well as outside of the zone. Yes. Okay. Then in terms of your function here at the center, um, you say you've got an administrative function ensuring that you actually you know, that everything's running smoothly. Um, what are the challenges that you are finding with that function? The flow of information is the, is the major, major hurdle. For instance, if, um, if ever there's something that is happening and mostly um, um, things happen, uh, it's as if there's something that is happening on the, on the outside. Okay. As we are sitting here now in the office, that incident or something that is happening needs to be reported right away. There needs, so there needs to be that flow of information. Okay. In other words, that, that's how we are making sure that there is a um, move forward. Instead of waiting for, for the management or the administrator to act, 
but rather to the, the person who was on the ground, mm -hmm. who was right there at that point in time, reports what is happening. Right? Okay. So they have to report it, and then in, as soon as it's reported, action can be taken. Yeah, right so on. it's about reducing the time between act, between incident and action. Yes. Okay. And how successful are you? Seeing yeah, it's, is it? it's it's a, it's a it's a growing curve, an upward okay. trend, because um, the more you, you deal with people, the more you understand their personalities. And the more you understand them, the more you are able to also communicate better with them and, and also understanding them better. Okay, In so other words, uh, the flow of information, once you understand the person, becomes easier and flows and more smoothly. Since I'm already a, a full member of the congregation, at the same time, I'm working on the center side. So I am more of a link between the two, making sure that the, the church communicates with the sender, the sender communicates with the church. So, okay. so the, the church needs to know what is currently happening with the, with the sender in terms of the new programs, the new thinking going forward of the sender. Okay. At the same time, the sender needs to know of the new developments that is happening um, within the within the church. For example, if um, we we having a group of young people uh, who wanted to volunteer, so in, instead of um, going up there and we start here at the church, okay. we open it up as broad. But it's always better if the church are the first person to know about it. Okay. Even. Yeah, even before the community, it goes out there, they will be the very first to, to, know, to about know the information. Okay. Yes. So it, 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 works, it makes work much easier. Instead of questions being raised and then waiting for, for a certain period of time to get answers, we are able now to respond to both sides. Okay. Much quicker and much easier and more understanding. So in other words, the system has become more efficient? Yes, this is simply how small it is. Okay, um, in terms of the Jalswani Church, which is the main body that oversees, as you said, everything, um, what is the main focus from the church's perspective in terms of what they're wanting to achieve for the community, for the church itself? Um, broadly speaking, it's, it's about taking the word of God and giving it flesh and giving it substance. Okay. That's where the, the center comes in. The word of God, which is preached on a Sunday, becomes flesh during the week. So in other words, you're saying it, being, it, it, it gets taken from being a spoken thing to actually being made manifest into a physical being reality. Yeah. Into it. Doing. A doing thing. It's a doing thing. Okay. It doesn't end um, just being the, the, the word of, the, of God. For instance, our, our mission statement says that we are protecting the dignity of the individual. Okay. Much is being said of that is taken mainly from the biblical side, where you will see that Jesus Christ um, taught and, and did miracles to thousands and thousands of people. Mm -hmm. He never discriminated any person, any human being. Okay. It doesn't matter if you were a Jew or you were not a Jew. Okay. He treated you as the same because you are a child of God. Okay. And hence us here also at the center, we, 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 we take the narrative of Jesus of Nazareth, meaning the, the, the actions that Jesus took, rather than just the, the spoken word of teaching that the narrative, what he did, okay. the doing part. So the sender becomes the doing part of the church, of the, church. Of the spoken word of God. Okay. In terms of the vision that the church has, and what the center has, and how the two work together, you working here, and being able to oversee and get a broad perspective from both sides and a hands-on perspective. Um, 
what do you think, um, from your perspective, needs to be the focus? Does it still need to be the same, or would you want to see it enhanced in some way? Or where do you want to see it in terms of your vision? What, what would you like to see into the future taking place here? For me, taking place here, uh, we have realized, come to realize that um, the, 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 the center part is not well known within the community of Kukuleto. Okay. And, and as such that there's a, there's a bit of imbalance. The church is well known, okay. but the, the, the programs that the center has, not too many people within here, on our neighborhood, now specifically talking of our neighborhood here. So it becomes um, a challenge that, um, especially young people, we have, for instance, a library. Not too many people know about the library. Okay. That we offer um, at certain times free internet okay. for people to, to, to have access. Um, to internet, especially for young people who are seeking jobs. Um, people, the, the, the concept of uh, young people learning to read more. We have also come to realize now that the, the, the curriculum of, of South Africa, the education curriculum, doesn't cater much about the reading. And hence, it has become picked up within the programs that we are running. Then. It has become a bit of an issue that people need to be taught more. But still, the community or within the church itself, there's, there's legal response to that. Even though the, the, the material and the facility is there okay. for, for the people to make use of. Okay. So my vision is to see, instead of um, white people, instead of people coming from overseas wanting to learn more mm -hmm. about James One and what are we doing to the community of the community, I will, I will, my vision is to see more and more young black people taking an advantage of what we are offering. 